I know. It's been like, oh, it's been a week since I checked in. I was like, I'm going to document myself every single day. And then I disappear for a week. But guys, life. Are we feeling the same? I feel like people cannot, I can't be the only one who's feeling so overwhelmed with everything going on. Um, I gotta hop in the shower. I just went to the gym. I went to the gym two times this week. That's it, Monday and Friday. I started my week at the gym and I ended my week at the gym. I could have done better, but let's talk about how I'm feeling. I have my trusty robe on. Don't look at me. It's the best day of the week, hair washing day. <laughs> I don't know how bad it looks behind me. Uh, and I could only find the broken hairbrush. And this is a baby towel that I'm drying my hair with. Let that just be the, like, the precursor to how I'm gonna explain my week to you. Oh my goodness. There is nothing better than working up a sweat and then washing it all off of you. And then when you get to include your hair in that mix. So the week that I was on that five milligrams of Munjaro. I lost seven pounds um, and I lost, I think like 5% body fat or 3% body fat or 0.3 in my metrics, which I wanna tell you guys the scale that I've been using. I wanted to share since I'm doing like a weight loss update, obviously, and I've given you guys the insight on what it's been like this first week back on my medication, how much weight I've lost, in total, I lost seven pounds my first week back on this med, and I've been using my Fit Track scale, which I'm going to leave linked for you guys down below. John and I use it every single day, and we absolutely love it. And it's not just because it's cute, it's a really cute scale. Like, it's so cute in the bathroom, very aesthetically pleasing, but because of all of the metrics it gives you, there's a lot that goes into weight loss, and when you don't see your weight necessarily go down, it can really deter you from like all of your goals. It can make you feel like you're failing or you're not doing something right. It gives me massive anxiety, or at least it used to. But with this scale in particular, it tracks so much more than your weight. It gives me so many good insights, and I actually really love the app. It's attached to all of my Apple products. So my Apple Watch is attached to it. It reminds me to drink my water. It has my bedtime reminders on there, so I'm always interacting with this app and it's just such a great tool in my toolbox for my weight loss journey. It tracks my body mass index, how much water I'm holding on to, how much protein is in my muscles. I mean, there's so many things that I didn't even know were a thing that I'm able to keep track of. And when I see those numbers start to go down more than just the number on the scale, but I'm seeing my body mass index go down and my muscle mass go up. I know that the hard work I'm putting in in the gym and all of the things that I'm doing, I know something's working and I'm making progress. And I love that it, I'm able to make my progress and track my progress using this scale in the app. If you guys wanna use code Brazy at checkout, I will leave a link down here for you. But if you use code Brazy at checkout, you'll get 20% off your order and site-wide right now is 50% off. So paired with my 20% off, you will get 70% off your scale. I will leave a link down below if you guys wanna check it out. John and I absolutely love it. We weigh ourselves every day. I've always been very honest with you guys. I like to weigh myself every day. It holds me accountable. And this just is an extra fun and encouraging way that I like to keep track of my progress. So if you guys wanna check out the scale, I will leave it linked for you guys down below. I know it's a little weird now I look like this, okay? That was obviously recorded a few days ago, but that scale, John and I both use it. John's also lost like I don't even know, I think 12 pounds or something in the last few weeks. Busting his ass, like old, old no skinny jeans kind of vibes with John. Like he is, he is busting his ass at the gym. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> something really ha funny happened today at the gym too. I'll go downstairs and I'll let him tell you what it was. Be it's not funny, but this is something that happens pretty often to fat people at the gym. And it's just, oh, oh. It's a reason why a lot of fat people don't go to the gym. <laughs> I feel really good. I feel really good. But it's just been one of those weeks with the kids and just being a parent in general. I think it's because it's the end of the school year is coming. Um, but it's just, I feel like it's already Friday and how did that happen? How did that happen? Everett starts school in a couple weeks. How did that happen? Ella's gonna be done with school in a couple weeks. How? <laughs> Didn't, didn't we just like have Christmas? Can somebody explain to me or like we in a simulation because I swear to you time has flown. The last year is literally scary fast. 
So how are you guys doing? Sorry that I like abandoned ship there for a week, but you know, you know I love you. <laughs> um, and I hope you're holding strong to your habits. I wanna show you like my lunge difference. I did leg day today, leg day, who am I? Um, and I could not do a lunge or tire step up or even really a squat six months ago, not really. And it just goes to show like if you keep practice makes perfect, if you keep doing things, you get stronger. Like they don't get easier is what they say, but um, you just get so much stronger. So I was really proud of that this morning. It was a really good workout, but now I feel like I'm feeling, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Ooh, my legs. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, I'm dead, I'm dead. You hung out with dad, how was it? Was it fun? Hi. <gasps> Mommy bought you your own special kind. Talk about super loud, is this little kid? Wants to be chased, that's the issue. So I was telling them um, how great you've done. You've gotten back in the gym. The last few weeks you've lost like a decent amount of weight. You're yeah. feeling really good, you look good. And uh, our gym, we love our gym. Oh yeah. We love our gym. Everybody who goes loves it. And this isn't specific to our gym either. No, it's, it's in general. It's just in general. And I'm self-conscious no matter, I, I could be in the best shape of my life and it mm -hmm. wouldn't matter because I'm always self-conscious everywhere I go. So like I go to the gym, I'm wearing a hoodie, I'm wearing... That's just comes from growing up fat. Yeah. I mean, honestly. And that's, that's really... <laughs> Sir, can you take a chill pill? He likes to make car noises and run really fast. Yeah. The house is his racetrack. You know, it's a thing of comfort if I'm all covered, like nothing showing. Mm -hmm. like, and I do that even with regular clothes like I'm like hey is this long enough is this you yeah know. but anyway I know this person this morning coming from a place of pureness encouragement at pure fit <laughs> they're coming from a place of encouragement and <laughs> what ended up happening is I'm lifting weights have my headphones in and when I go to the gym if people talk to me I'm in a zone so I have no it takes me a minute or two to get out of that zone but he came over Jack dude huge and he's like, just don't stop. And I'm like, <laughs> it, and I get where he's coming from. He's being encouraging. And I appreciate the encouragement. I appreciate all of that. The issue <laughs> is it may, and for somebody that's self-conscious like myself, mm -hmm. it makes me feel like I'm the fattest guy at the gym. Like you're standing out. Exactly. Like I'm, and I hate being the center of attention of anything. I hate. I know. I, just I hate said gifts. That. I hate happy birthday, singing. I hate. Like I hate all of that stuff. And he came over and he said that, and then I'm just like looking around, like, oh God, is everybody looking at me? Is everybody? Oh, I know. And it, it gets you out of that groove. Don't ever stop encouraging people. That's yes. not why I'm saying that. Mm -hmm. Just think about what you're saying. Like, walk over and be like, what's Hell up guys? Yeah. Like, you know, keep and keep going. It happened to my friend Kristen too. Yes. Um, a man walked up to her and he's like, you're just my hero. And all she, and I'm not saying all she was doing because it was awesome. Like she was on the, uh, what was it, the elliptical. And you guys have seen Kristen, like we're all, we're the plus size people at the yeah. gym right now. I mean, there's other plus size people there as well, but this older man came up to her and was like, you're my hero. You look at you, go, like just, and then you just feel like, how, why am I here? Here I'm just working out. Like I, I exercise. I think people have this really preconceived notion of that all fat people are lazy bums who do nothing and eat all this junk and we're just yeah. these lazy slobs who do nothing. And that is 99.9% .9 of the case. Is That's not true. It's just yeah. not how we are. And you already, it's hard to go to the gym as a bigger person because you already feel like people are staring at you and are the center of right. attention. So when people say that, you're like, crap. But like I said, don't stop encouraging people. Just be like, hell yeah. You know what I mean? Just do like a fist bump as you walk by. Yeah. Like, great job. But I feel like our bigger folks will understand what we're saying. Yeah. And if you and don't, it don't feel like we're all like offended or angry or like upset that somebody would ever encourage us. That's no. not it at and that's, all. And that's definitely not where I'm coming from. And it's from. the kind it's... of gym that is encouraging. Like, of that's course. the kind of vibe it is. Buddy. So we always try and take the vibe of our gym into consideration as bigger people. They're doing it to everybody. They're not just doing it to the big people. You right. know what I mean? And it's not, it's not like he was like, 
hey fatty, keep it going. Yeah. Just feels that way to somebody that's like. When you're already struggling. Exactly, mm -hmm. well, I wouldn't say struggling, yeah. but when you're there in the zone lifting weights, I'm not thinking about, I'm the fat guy here. And then when that is said, I'm like, oh God, I am the fat guy here. So then you're like, oh, I know. you know, I just want to crawl in a hole and not be seen. And I'm not chastising this guy either. No. I'm just telling you from my perspective how it makes me feel. Yeah. And that's, it's and, a, and, I've, and I've shared that with other people and they feel the same way. Mm -hmm. But never stop encouraging people. You know, let's go, let's do this. You know, like, you're hell, killing it. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. <laughs> stop with the hell yeah. What are you like? <laughs> stop cold Steve Austin. Hell, hell yeah. yeah. We're not gonna see that. It's a, it's a buzz kill because I'm already self-conscious and then you say that and it's like, oh, you're realizing I'm fat, uh-oh. Like, and I know that's not where they're coming from. They're like, hey man, you're killing it, keep going. But Cause you're me, strong and but, like. But for me, it's more of, it just kind of, like you start looking around in the mirror, like is it people, are people looking at me? Yeah. Like that kind of thing. So. But it'll never stop us from going. And, and it shouldn't stop anybody because mm -hmm. that person is not being degrading. They're not being rude. Um, and and this isn't calling them out either. No. I'm just I'm just saying from bigger person's perspective. Mm -hmm. Like I I just feel like that's what happens when you say something like, "Oh, you're my hero," or "You're my you're my inspiration," or you know. Then you're like, oh, okay. Like then you just feel it makes you realize because sometimes you can just be lost in it and you're like, hell yeah. And that's I what said I it do. again. I know. Ah, I know. Control yourself. Then you can be like, I'm just in the zone, I'm working out, and you're feeling really good, and you don't realize for a minute that you are the bigger person in right. the gym, and then someone says something like, Everybody's looking at me, which they're not. They're not. No, and if not they are, they're like, Good job. That I'll say, good job, like he's killing it. That's probably where he's coming from, like our vibe. And that's where he is coming from, Absolutely. for sure. Absolutely. And, and definitely, um, you know, and we're overkilling this topic. Absolutely. But. Well, let us know down below, do you guys have, if you are bigger and you've had those kinds, have you had those kinds of experiences in the gym or working out or just in life where somebody sees Buddy. a big person doing something and just. something that they don't think a big person may be able to do. And it's just sometimes, it's a it's a mental thing on our end too. So yeah, we just thought we'd share that because I know we're not alone. Let us know down in the comments if you experience the same thing. And like I, we always or am say, I being a Jim Karen? I don't know. Maybe I am. <laughs> and but... I don't. It wasn't because you're like they like you wanted. No, no. I interacted with them. I, I said, oh, you know, thank you. You know, I see you're over there killing it. Good job. He was know. a big dude too. And, and I just keep on going. Yeah. But you know, for the I would say probably for like a minute or two, it throws you off because you're like. Especially social anxiety like I have it's you know I'm like looking around making sure Nobody's staring at me and then I go into like a little hole for a minute and then I'm like, okay But then I came inside for my outside workout and he's running so and you were running for a hot second Yeah, so if anything it maybe motivates you to keep going a little bit more, you know and, uh, Yeah, definitely it, once you get over that initial do, 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 do. He's racing <laughs> He loves it. But. Yeah. So, let us know down in the comment section if you've had similar situation happen and how does it make you feel? Yeah. Is it an us thing? I think it is an us thing. It and might be. It might very well be an us thing. Always keep encouraging each other. Always, you Definitely. know, be nice and kind and support one another, especially in that kind of setting because everybody tends to feel a little self-conscious in that kind of setting. Yeah. All right. Back to the day. Bye.